uh, Tether's frozen $28 million worth of USDT tokens connected to the Hue and A group business in Cambodia. This is a big deal in the world of cryptocurrencies. This movie comes after claims of theft and money laundering showing how hard it is to regulate digital currencies. Um, Elliptic, a company that studies blockchains, says that Puyone Group has been involved in pig butchering scams. This is a type of scam in which scammers get people to trust them before getting them to invest in fake schemes. People say that the company is involved in illegal deals worth about $11 billion and mostly uses Tether's USDT stabler to do business through Telegram. Um, because there's very small and uh, they've been able to uh, be on all uh, the biggest administration uh, these guys we can not implement what's going on because uh, USDT USDC Ban West ultimately separate USDT Ban West July 12 2024 and according to elliptics research we own group may have ties to Cambodia's royal family which makes the case more complicated but these claims have not been proven in need to accomplish and uh, there's nothing that nobody can do. Investigation from the elliptic research team sheds light on online marketplace. Hui Wani guarantee the platform is widely used by scam operators in Southeast Asia, including those involved in pig butchering scams. Read the full analysis. Elliptic, elliptic. July 10th, 2024, and Cambodia's Bitcoin market is still mostly uncontrolled. The National Bank of Cambodia says that people shouldn't use crypto, but there are no clear rules against individual deals. This lack of regulation has made it possible for companies like Huan to work in a murky area. The country has taken steps towards blockchain technology by creating Bakong, a digital banking system that is regulated by the government. In contrast to decentralized cryptocurrencies, Bakon encourages people to use the local currency, the real, instead of the U.S. dollar. Uh, even though Tether did what it did, blockchain security firm Bitrace thinks, you know, UN is still trying to get around the freeze by creating new addresses and moving money between them. The game of cat and mouse shows how hard it is for the government to find and stop crypto-related crimes. Uh, Bitrace said Huion set up a new address and moved $114,800 in USDC from the frozen wallet to it. Some of Huion's other business addresses are still apparently working, which makes it harder to stop all of their operations. The case has caught the attention of law enforcement and blockchain experts who are trying to stop Huion A from doing business by keeping track of crypto transactions and finding related wallets. Uh, this event brings to light a number of current problems in the Bitcoin space. Um, the example shows how digital currencies could be used in big schemes to commit theft and hide money. Uh, also, it shows how governments and security companies can use blockchain technology to find and freeze money that seems suspicious. Um, you know, the case also shows how important it is for cryptocurrencies to have strong legal systems. Um, and as digital assets become more popular, uh, governments around the world are trying to figure out, uh, you know, how to best regulate this, this new area of finance uh, while also protecting consumers. And, you know, for stablecoin producers like Tether, the event shows how important it is for them to fight fraud in the crypto environment Frozen wallets are, are a strong way to, to stop illegal activities, but they also bring up issues of centralization and control in a place that, that values decentralization. Uh, as the investigation goes on, uh, this case serves as a lesson of how complicated it is for new financial tools, rules, and law enforcement to work together in the modern world. It shows that Everyone involved in the Bitcoin industry needs to stay alert and work together to make the environment safer and more open for users over the world.